So what? is this the Bubsy 3D remake or... Uh, wait, 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 dude, dude, dude. This kid's wearing Timberlands! Alright, you goddamn baboons, today I'm looking at Poi, a third-person platformer developed and published by Polly Kid. So in this game, you play as these two orphan kids who run away from, well, presumably their orphanage, and go on a search for adventure. They come across this old guy who has a serious case of Brock from Pokemon Eyes, and he's searching for his lost Explorer medallions. So these two young, parentless children set out on an adventure with this strange old man that they know nothing about, and it's probably best if we don't think about that too much. Now this game is a third-person platformer with gameplay inspired by Super Mario 64, and I mean really inspired by Super Mario 64. In fact, the game gets referenced quite a lot in Poi. You can do a triple jump just like in Mario 64, there's a level where you race down a slide just like in Mario 64, there's a bit where you help a penguin lady find her lost baby, baby, just like in Mario 60. Fine. Although in this game, the penguin lost six of her babies, which is kind of messed up. I mean, how do you lose six fucking babies? Uh, are we sure this penguin is fit to be a mother? But anyway, Super Mario 64 is a game that I haven't really played too much. I didn't have it growing up, and when I did play it a few years ago, I don't even think I finished it. So the question is, is Poi just a nostalgia bait for fans of Mario 64 and other similar games, or is there something here for people like me who are stupid. Well, I did actually like Poi, but to be honest with you, I kind of wish that I didn't, because then I could say to the developers, hey, I didn't like your game, but don't take it poisonally. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. But yeah, Poi is a fun game. The platforming is very fun, the controls are pretty tight, and your character moves and handles well. And I like the level design too. There are only four main levels, or worlds, or whatever you want to call them, but they're fairly detailed and big and hard and throbbing. Sorry, I'm thinking of something else. But funnily enough, they're not really hard at all. In fact, being honest, this game is pretty easy. I mean, I get it, it's sort of a kid's game, so it's got to be accessible, and it's not like the whole game is easy. In fact, they really stepped up the difficulty on the final level. That shit took me a lot of tries. But still, these boss fights? I mean, come on, there's easy, and then there's I could probably still do this even if I was a fetus. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Despite its difficulty, or lack thereof, Poi is still a fun game, even though it is pretty short. I managed to beat the whole thing in just under five hours, and that may not sound like a lot, but considering I only paid ten of the good old British currency known as pounds for this game, I'd say it's a suitable length. Plus, the game doesn't necessarily end after the credits roll, just like how in Mario 64 you have to collect stars, in this game you have to collect explorer medallions. You only need 60 medallions to beat the game, but there are apparently over a hundred medallions in total, and if you collect collect them all, something happens. I don't freaking know, man. I don't have time to figure it out. I'm a busy man. I have to take like seven naps a day. Aside from the main levels, there are other side challenges that you can do to earn extra medallions, some of which are really fun. There are obstacle course levels, mini games where you have to dig up fossils and avoid bombs, and my personal favorite, flying challenges. In this game, your ship kind of acts as your hub world, and if you want to do challenges, you have to fly from your ship over to where the challenge is. And the flying feels great, so naturally the flying challenges feel really good too, although annoyingly there's only like three of them to do, and really they're just easy, medium, and hard modes of the same challenge. It's a shame, because like I said, the flying is awesome, and I would have loved some more flying challenges, maybe even in different settings? I don't know man, what do you think I am, some sort of video game reviewer? Get out of here! That I'm kidding, please come back. And the last thing I want to mention is the graphics, and I gotta say, for a £10 indie game, this looks pretty nice, it's very bright and colourful and when it becomes sunset, mm, those lighting effects, they're sexy. So all in all, in all, in all, I liked Poi. It's not the longest game ever and it's not the hardest game ever, but it's still a fun game. If you're a fan of Mario 64 or other similar games, then I'd say give it a go. It's dirt cheap and available on Steam and Wii U. And I'm sorry if this video is a bit shorter than usual, but like I said, Poi is a pretty short and simple game, and I think I've talked about everything I need to talk about, so... That's it. I mean, what do you want from me? Poi is fun, charming, and cheap, just like my ex-girlfriend. Except Poi didn't cheat on me with my best friend, Rebecca, you ho!